So tonight, an interview you'll see only on 10. Wesley Hadzel is talking about his conviction and the murder of his adopted stepdaughter, AJ. Hadzel says this case is not over yet. The conviction in the case came last week and years after AJ's body was found in Southampton County. Tonight, Hadzel is hitting at a possible appeal. Penny your side's Kayla Gaskins has more from that exclusive interview. I do know that I am innocent and that I will work very hard to prove the fact. Wesley Hadsell sits in a yellow jumpsuit at the Tidewater Regional Jail, staring down the very real possibility this is how he'll spend the rest of his days. Did you kill AJ? No, ma'am. The jury says he did. What went through your mind? What did that moment feel like? Give us some insight. I wasn't, I wasn't going to break down. I wasn't, I wasn't, I'm not going to accept that verdict. After sitting through 11 days of testimony, it only took the jury 41 minutes to convict. Guilty is charged in the indictment. Unusually quick for a case this complex. Were you surprised by the verdict at all? When it came back so fast, not really. It didn't make sense to come back that quick. This wasn't like some kind of clear-cut case. This was highly circumstantial. There was no smoking gun in this case. The prosecution never even proved how Hadsell gave AJ the heroin that killed her. The most damning evidence against him is that police found AJ's body by following the GPS history from his work van to an abandoned home in Southampton County. How did AJ's body get behind that house? I don't, I don't know. I, I tell you this, I was never behind that house. Hadsel says this GPS is removable. So are you saying you didn't have your GPS that day? I didn't use GPS to go to and from that location. But that's not what I asked. I asked if you had your GPS that day. There was a GPS in my van. I did have two GPSs. So are you saying you're set up? I mean, bottom line is there's, there's other things at play here that I can't speak on because I don't know. I would not have put my daughter out there like trash in someone's backyard and left her there like that. Hatzel plans to appeal the verdict. His sentencing is set for April 4th. He faces life in prison. For all of our previous coverage on this case, head to wavy.com. In the newsroom, I'm Gail Gaskins, 10 on your side.